Hi, my name is Michelle Jasinska and welcome to my National Geographic capstone video. For my project, I use the National Geographic framework and geographic scales to connect the framework skills and attitudes to empower student action and global citizenship. I'm a Canadian primary school teacher working internationally, currently based here in beautiful Singapore. Singapore is a Southeast Asian island city-state and an ideal location to showcase the National Geographic perspectives with students. With four official languages, Singapore is diverse and multicultural, celebrating traditions from many religions and cultures. The Lion City is an economic and political powerhouse of Asia, a base for many businesses and banks and is an essential port for global trade. It has a rich, multifaceted history. 10% of its land is preserved as parks and nature reserves. Here you can find geological treasures as well as a large variety of birds and wildlife. Welcome to my school. This is where I currently teach, ISS International School. ISS is an international baccalaureate world school whose philosophy is educating to make a difference. I teach grade 5, which is the final year of the IB Primary Years program, PYP for short. During this year, PYP students undertake a personal project called the Exhibition that allows students to conduct an extended, in-depth inquiry into a real-life interest or issue. The Exhibition is designed to foster awareness beyond the self, which is why I wanted to structure our Exhibition using the National Geographic's Human and Natural World Geographic Scales. Using this graphic, I was able to develop the framework to guide my students to connect their chosen inquiry beyond themselves. To begin, the students connected to passion. What are passions? How do people follow them to make a difference in their lives and the lives of others? We hosted several guest speakers from our community to speak about their passions and how they are using those passions to take action around the world. By observing our guests, the students could now reflect on their own passions, guiding them to choose three main interests. We made connections to our own knowledge of the human and natural world and discussed what local, regional and global meant. From there, I modeled modification of the National Geographic scales, using concentric circles to connect our passions beyond ourselves. From me, to my family, to my school, to Singapore, and to the world. By identifying how our passions connect beyond ourselves, this activity built the framework for us to build on attitudes of empowerment to create meaningful change. The students were empowered to brainstorm and collaborate to develop a central idea for our exhibition. Following your passions may make a difference around the world. The students were further empowered with the agency to create their own groups for the project, collaborating based on their interests. The students used their concentric circles across geographic scales to brainstorm questions and develop lines of inquiry for their projects. Through collaborating in our self-directed learning groups with teacher mentors and with local experts, the students made further connections to deepen their knowledge of real-life problems and issues across several knowledge areas, including those of the National Geographic Framework, the human journey, wildlife and wild places, and our changing planet. The students then created an action plan for a geographic area where they wanted to make a meaningful difference. Since the initial geographic scales activity, the students have made an impact in several ways, locally, regionally, and globally, and is evidenced by their actions. 
They have pushed for animal rights by writing persuasive letters and educating the elementary school about responsible animal tourism. They have campaigned for refugees of war. They have organized a beach cleanup in response to the growing problem of plastic pollution in our oceans. The impact of the activity on the students has been meaningful for them. Using the National Geographic resources, I have been able to inspire my students to ask deeper questions and to take meaningful intrinsic action in their community. The framework has allowed me to make more connections in my planning. My students use their shape knowledge in math to design environmentally sustainable snack packaging. And in literacy, my students use their persuasive writing skills to promote environmentalism in our community. And I would like to thank the National Geographic for the opportunity to inspire globally minded citizens.